The um comic view or deaf comedy jam? Uh far as what? Far as what it did for comedy, uh who who it propelled, um cachet in the culture, you know, overall. I think Def Jam was the ultimate uh at that time it, it was the ultimate thing. Def Jam. Comic View had more uh, longevity. It was a calmer atmosphere. It was kind of two different uh, genres. Def Jam, you know. Uh, Comic View, you had time to make somebody think. Def Jam, eh. (laughs) you got to go, bro. Yeah, yeah, you got to go. But uh, both of them did the thing. uh, So shout out to. Russell Simmons, shout out to Bob uh, Johnson, I think. Johnson, yeah. Bob Johnson, yeah. yeah. Uh, both of them provided an avenue. Bob Sumner was with Def Jam, but Bob Johnson on BET, BET, Comic View, yeah. Yeah. And it created a it created a platform for us that uh, wasn't available. I don't I don't think you could compare it to anything now as far as black. Comics are concerned, right? Yeah. So you think it can be re- it, recreated in there? That can be redone now. You can centralize those audiences because basically that's what that was. People would sit down at a certain time, you know, get looking forward to watching comedy on Comic View or. I tell you why I don't think so, because of social media. I don't think so because of social media. Now I ain't I ain't mad at nobody or nothing. I ain't mad at the young brothers social media, but. But I think, uh, and it's obvious, when some of them are missing the experience of going out on the road, driving from place to place, dealing with different people, and trying to uh, find where you fit in. And you can't do that. You can't do that with video, man. And then it's not as real. Right. Because you can't get booed on video. And you got to get your ass out there and get booed. Mm-hmm. And then figure out what you did wrong. But on video, you can do 50 takes and just pick the best one. Then a lot of people are disappointed when they show up to see them. Now, some of the brothers have gone on and gained experience and uh, stepped it up. Country Wayne, Shula King, yeah. and figured it out. But I've also seen, I've seen some fall, a DC Young Fly, I've seen some fall by the wayside, you know, that, right. that possibly would have done better if they had been on the road. Uh, it used to call it the chitlin' circuit. Yeah, because working those jokes is a thing. Like, you got to get that joke in different rooms, and you know what right. I'm saying? Like you said, like it's- and That's why, you know, I do some concerts now. I think I got 40, 50 on the books for this year, but I do, I got, you know, 40 some clubs on the books because the repetitions. Right. The repetitions, and you'd be surprised. I always call comedy, particularly black comedy, but comedy in general, is psychological warfare, brother. Thanks for watching this clip from its Up There podcast. To see the rest of the interview, click one of the boxes on the screen. Also join Discord and Patreon to be in our community.